And now the 24-year-old faces penalty-saving specialist Ronwyn Williams. Moffi for Nigeria. And straight down the middle does the job. Well, that was nice and cool. I'm pleased for him, as I said. First touches in the tournament, we're actually running away from the South African defence. Kakana brought him down. A step up and take a penalty and dispatch it. It's huge. Did well. Gets a big hug for his pains. Well, the penalty in normal time for South Africa was scored by Mokwena and he's going to take this as well as he did in the shootout against Cape Verde he took the first penalty and scored it Mokwena facing Nwabili who should go the way that the first penalty went it's saved by Nwabili Early advantage for Nigeria. It's not a great penalty. Pretty much the same spot as he played out in normal time. The goalkeeper guesses right. That's the way that McQueen shapes to pass the football and shoots more often than not. Good save. It certainly was. Nwabili in prayer. Kenneth Omeruo has been on the pitch for a matter of seconds. About to take this penalty. And scores very coolly. Welcoming viewers to BBC Three the most dramatic of climaxes to the first semi-final of the 34th Africa Cup of Nations. It's a penalty shootout between Nigeria and South Africa. Nigeria have taken two and scored two. Mofi and Omaruo. South Africa have taken one and missed it through Teboho Mokwena. And Miklatli Mayambela comes forward for South Africa. Didn't take one in the quarter-final, Mayambela is taking one now. And scores, really good penalty. Great strike effort. Yeah, it wasn't that far away, was it? I believe, guess right. And that little puff out says, nearly got it. Nearly. So 2-1. Ola Aina is going to take this now for Nigeria. Aina against Williams. Oh, he's yeah. put it over the bar. Both sides have missed one. Nigeria have taken three to South Africa's two. Well, he's usually such a clean strike of the football. I wouldn't have expected him to blaze over, but that's what tension can do for you. Didn't really get much of a run, perhaps a little bit too cool about it. And scoop the ball, trying to get it into that top right corner. Oh, back on level terms. Yeah, well, again, a penalty taker here for South Africa, who did not take in the quarter-final shootout victory over Cape Verde. This is Evidence Makoba. Can he make it two each? No, he can't! It's still 2-1.
and Wabili has saved two or three. Two straight with the run. And right or left foot is so difficult then to open your body out and send it to the goalkeeper's left if you're a right footer. And the gamble then for a goalkeeper has usually got to be the more natural curve of the foot will be that inside to out. And Wabili with another big, big save. So Tristikon, who scored his penalty in normal time to give Nigeria the lead, faces Ronwen Williams again. He's taken two penalties in this tournament, both of them went straight down the middle. Is he brave enough to do that again? Mind games. He scores! And he doesn't miss from the spot. Yeah, this was my engagement between the two of them. Williams thought perhaps he's going to go down the middle again. And Tristan Cohn decided, no, I've had enough of that. And he took all the tension out of it and blasted the football with control. And Nigeria here are potentially one penalty kick away from a place in the final of the Africa Cup of Nations. Potentially. I bet there was some local dialect being spoken by Mwabili then to Mvala. Mvala's had a fantastic tournament. But he has to score here for South Africa to keep them in it. And he does. No, I'm and it's pleased for him. 2 oh, I'm really pleased for him. Fantastic tournament. Another big performance tonight. It would be a real shame if he exited the tournament with a penalty that was saved. There's still hope for Bafana Bafana. And the fifth penalty for Nigeria, which may be the decisive one, is going to be taken by Kaleshi Iheanacho. This for the final. Scores! It's nice.